Hey everyone, FPS Chazza here. Welcome back to Let's Play Sub Command. So we got ourselves this surface ship. I think I'm gonna go to periscope depth and see what's going on up here. Go to depth zero one. Uh, let's see what meters. we got. Um, so we got a, I got a 65 centimeter here, ready to go, cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Uh, I don't really think I have much I can put in these. I might just put these up here for some reason. Whatever. <laughs> So let's go up to periscope depth. I'm going to put this, I think this torp is already on master one. It is, uh, let's see. I think he's that close to board where it, oops. What did he, okay, there you go. That is their solution. So he's, that seems to be his solution. That seems to be what he's doing. Except as of late, he may have turned somewhere else. Well, let's see here. Let us see. He may have turned around. No, he's not heading back. He's definitely heading back this way or something. Hmm. I did shoot the missiles over that way, didn't I? It's possible he turned around somewhere else and is closer to me than I think. And I just wasn't paying attention to it, and it was actually him doing that. Maybe. Where are we going to? 016 oh, six meters. Raise this bad boy up. I know we're not there just yet. There you go. There you go. Hello. Okay, going east to west. Looks like he might be going northwest even. Northeast, he's going like that way. Um, anything else out there? There shouldn't be really anything else out there. Yeah, no sign of like a mysterious ship launching. No, 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 don't do that. Do this. <laughs> I might as well raise comms here. Um, there could be ASW, uh, like airborne ASW assets out here somewhere. Okay, well, we know what he's doing. At least he's heading away. Oh, what was that? I think he's just going ham with his weapons radar. I think that's just what I'm seeing. Just expecting weapons radar from this direction. Let's lower this. He's actually heading the other direction now. Very close aboard. A torp should just... I think just a torp up his butt should be sufficient here. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and launch this bad boy. And yeah, nothing on radio. That's the only ESM we're seeing. So let's go ahead and uh, let me let me check on my presets going on here. Depth, we don't need to be that deep. Uh, speed is good. Ceiling good. Floor good. Fire. Launch tube two. Yes, the captain. Let's actually get ourselves a little deeper here. So I got this set to squall, squall range, and I'm still not sure what this LA is doing. Let's check out his solution. Uh, we can slow down a little bit, I suppose, here. Let's just go deep, go deep, deep, deep. Go to depth, one, three, eight meters. Depth control, I. Let's see, what is this torpedo doing? Where are you going? Oh, probably should have given him a new solution. I think that's an old solution. Here, head this way. Head way more that way, yeah. Do something like that. Uh, a little more that way. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's see if we can't figure out what the hell. Man, he is uh kind of just driving around in circles. There, I think he's just hanging out in one little spot or something. It seems like. Let's see. Well, hang on. it was like this before, so I think he might have just like turned sharply. Seems to just be. I, we should just be able to turn this. We're very close in. Like holy crap, we are close in. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what, what, what's our other sub here doing? Um, is he still going eight knots? That's a good question. No, he slowed down to seven knots. Okay, not much of a big change there. Um, interesting. Okay. Looks like he had a course change in there at some point. Did something. Hmm. 
This is tricky. Let's uh, head this Rudder way. Right steer course one, four, seven, steering I think if I just turn this torp on in like a, a matter of seconds. Oh my god, I didn't even start my freaking timer. How long has it been? Oh jeez, it has been okay, five and a half minutes. I think that this is like another. This is like the third recording session of this mission. This sh it should be the last one. <laughs> I can d I can like end the mission technically at any time. I just want to get this guy since he's right here. I could verify our range to target with a ping, but I don't want to do that because uh, that sub will probably launch on me. <clears throat> Raising the toad baffles on that very well. Sixteen knots, steady, steady as she goes. Master One haven't gotten any data contact on him yet. No pings, so he might be facing away from me at this point. Um, there's a ping. Let's start getting some marks. Ooh. What are you doing? Wow, what is that? What is that indeed? Is he a lot closer to the board than I think he is? Uh, let's turn you on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you locked onto something or what? What's going on here? What is this? Can't tell if he's angled up or not. <laughs> uh, no, this seems to be a snake. Oh, where is Master One? He's really close in. He's doing something weird. Something. Okay, don't worry about. Don't mind that intersection point there. Whoa, is he really closer? Closer than I thought he was. Those are some crazy bearing rates we got going on here. Uh, ooh, jeez. We had another one loading up. This torp may be past him. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Flying around like a crazy man? I got no idea. I'm so confused. Alright, I think this torp is too far out there. What are you, what are you, what is he doing? Is he locked on the something or is he snaking? No, he's snaking. Let's turn this torp around. Because I think it's too far out. Uh, turn south, turn south. With your breakneck speed. And let's uh, turn you on again. See what that can't do. Is that something? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? 65 centimeter torpedo. Tycon. Stingray torpedo. That's me. I'm turning. Uh, do, do. Am I seeing that LA off there? I am. I'm seeing a feint of something there and then a feint of... There might be like two subs out here potentially. Good lord. I don't know what this guy's going to right now. It may be him. Maybe. There's so much data, I have no idea what the hell's going on at all. Not sure what this guy's locked onto, but it seems to be locked onto something. It could potentially be a ship. That's just a. Don't worry about that. That's a. That's a mirror track shooting around. Someone doesn't have a torp off on me. Man, I'm not talking that well. Okay, let's see. He's straight lining for something. I'm hoping he's not going for this. I don't think he is, because he would be going like deep. No, he's going. He's got an up angle going on here. This torp has an up angle. This Tycon's in a lot closer than I think he is. A lot closer. Doing who knows what. Seems to be like circling around some point. I think it was his missile shooting at my. I think it was. It has to have been him shooting at my missiles. But I, I think my solution of him was just very wrong, just because of how close in we are, and how much maneuvering around he's doing. But yeah, this torp is heading for the surface. We're about to get a hit in a few seconds here, actually. Three, two, one. Oh, there you go. Bye, bye. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that is it. I'm gonna wrap this one up right here then. Um, I really don't wanna 
Let's uh, let's launch a squall in this LA for kicks. Let's see what Air we get. Rudder right steep just because um, two, six, steering guy. Just because it seems like he might be in my kill zone. Uh, if we don't get anything, we're just gonna scrap it. I think external six is what I have warmed up and ready to go. Okay, presets. Well, yeah, none of that really matters, but yeah, that's fine. All right, uh. I'm going to make the depth about a hardy 200 meters, maybe 300. That's kind of like in the middle of like his diving range, 200 meters. We'll, we'll go for that right there. Seems good. Fire. Launch external tube six. Yes, the captain. Control acoustics. Kind of launch it almost facing, well, not really directly away from him. But uh, it'll be fine. I think it kind of just like, it's not like RA where it just kind of gets going. Where are you going up to? You're supposed to be like, are you going to change your enable depth? Oh shit. Oh, he launched back. <laughs> Alright. Well, well. Well, well. Bringing myself undue harm. No, he was getting within firing range. Okay, so we got a Mark 48 in the water. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, this guy should probably be... No, he's not doing much of anything. Oh, he will be. That is probably a Mark 48. No, that's a Squall. Not exactly sure of his range. I guess we should better we better kick it up to standard. standard. Steering guy. It's retracted toad hydro lock. Engines well, let's just do two thirds for now while the toad guy. comes back in. Let's uh, crash dive here. 500 meters. Go Active countermeasure. Yes, Captain. Depth control I. Let's see what the squall does. I think we might get a lick. I, th I think we might get a hit here. I think we may. Can't end the mission with active torpedoes in the water, so we're gonna have to sidestep this bad boy here. But let's see what the squall can do. I think we might get something just because. Well, let's drop this. I don't need uh, Master One anymore. Oh, let's see what this this guy can do. I think we're gonna get something. I think we are. I think this uh, LA is close aboard, close in here. But we will see if he is, in fact, close in. What do we got? I have no idea of the validity of that solution. That's just a guess. Don't even worry about that one up on the nav map there. Okay, we just passed by the solution. If that doesn't get anything, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Shit, that didn't get anything. Okay, so he seems to be a little further off then. Um... Okay, we're going to snapshot down that bearing then with the, something else to try and get him to run away before I completely get out of here. Starting to run out of compressed air. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this up on the six on the tube one internal. And then uh, let's get this out there and then start running. Running like hell. Just launch it down this bearing. I don't really... Just need to get him to run. Launch tube one. Yes, Captain. Um, let's slow down. I want to see where that torp is. Alright, I don't care what this thing does, so I'm just going to close the door. Just going down that bearing is going to turn on and just start snaking. I'm just trying to get him to run. Alright, uh, freaking brought that. Okay, time's tick tocking away. I don't know if I. Okay, we're not doing this. We're just flanking. Oh, I set my depth to 517 meters. Yeah, do it. Do it, bitch. All right, reload this. And uh, I guess maybe another active in here while we're waiting. It's going to take a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to try it. So the squall didn't hit him, and that's that's his bearing. We know his bearing for certain. That's his bearing that we're looking down. 310. We launched down that bearing. Um, it might have been off by a little bit, that solution, because I, probably, I didn't shoot exactly down the bearing. But that error, it should have at least gotten a hit, I think. So I think, shit, that torp, my torp's already that far out. Dude, you got to be booking it. I'm not hearing any pings yet. I'm not going to hear any pings as I'm going so fast. I'm somehow still, I don't know, it's just stuck. It's not seeing anything. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm expecting to see. My torp's already that far out. I've been kind of dilly-dallying. This Mark 48's going to get close in. Let's launch. Oh, these are still reloading. Glorious. Wonderful. 
All right, just trying to run as perpendicular as possible. Two one zero is more perpendicular than what I was doing. Trying to get out of the way. Okay. Steer course two zero nine. Steering guy. Well, no, this isn't exactly. I need to be a little more like this. But this is all good. Seven. Steering guy. Let's see here. Sketched out. Sketched out. I'm sketched out. What's my maximum depth as modeled in game? Do they say 520 meter normal depth, max depth is 600? So I'm right at like normal depth. So test depth, I guess maybe, as some may call it. Um, let me slow down real quick. Because I have no idea. If, well, if if the torp's gone active, I should hear it pinging because it's like oblique to me. It's not in my baffles. But I just want to kind of slow down and see what we got going on out here. Uh, let's turn this way a little bit. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, load these up. Shit. 315. I think I, I think I was seeing whiffs of like another sub out there. Or it's just this guy. 315A. When did I launch all that other crap? It was around here, wasn't it, maybe? I'm trying to do like frickin' triangulation. I don't know if that if this is the time to do triangulation here. So let's call it uh three oh seven and then from right here three one five. Uh doo -doo 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 -doo. area circle. Kinda puts an intersection like uh that's very imprecise, yes I know. Like right around here, there's, it seems like there's the sub, maybe. So we shall see. <laughs> if there's only just one sub, okay. If there's only just one sub, that might be what we're seeing. Let's try another squall down 315 here real quick, actually. Um, just snapshot at squall 25 preset. Three, <laughs> hey, it's... <laughs> Steer course three one five. Don't you turn that damn wheel, Ryan. <laughs> three one five. All right. Yeah, we're doing it. Three one five, bitch, bitch. Uh oh. I wanted to look for torps. I see countermeasure. I don't see torps. I see countermeasure. Okay. Well, fire. Launch external to five. Yes, the captain. Oh, I don't have him. Oh. Torpedo is running normally. What is that? That might be just a ship right there. I'm, I'm seeing like two peaks. Arlie Burke. I don't think that's right. All right. Back to flank. Engines ahead, flank. Steering guy. Back to run. Ruder left, steer. Ruder left, steer. Course two, one, seven. Steering guy. Oh, he seems to be have found something. Perhaps. Perhaps. Looks like. There might be a sub, like, yeah, right around there. Based on, like, the snapshot of those bearings, and assuming that he hasn't moved much. Yeah, that squall is going out there. We'll see if it gets something this time. <laughs> Three, one, five. All right. Let us keep trying to sidestep here. There was another torp in the water, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with these torps. I'm not seeing any torps in the water besides my own. But then again, the azimuthal is not very accurate once you start having multiple things on the same bearing. Oh shit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Launch Watch to that. One. Yes, Captain. Okay. What is my course of action right now? There's a torp pinging. So there is a torp on me. For all I know, it could just be snaking behind me. Not sure where it's actually going. Uh, let's try turning steer this way. Two. Steer course right. Steer course two. Five. One. Steering guy. This torp seems to be locked onto something. The squall's just kind of out there going. We're s we'll see if we get a hit on something. Uh, oh, that's what that sound was. It was the 
50 centimeter, the 65 centimeter approaching up. These pings I'm hearing are very widely spaced, so they're not they're not increasing in frequency, which means that probably not locked. Yeah, no skull hit again. So we do not have his location down very well. All right, so I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. We'll get away from these torps. Uh, until then, good hunting. Bye-bye.